feel badly for you, I really do, but Byron needs to be groomed every day at three. Well, you'll just have to reschedule your daughter's birthday. Now, I want him saddled and ready to ride when I arrive. Don't keep me waiting. Idiot. There's a new student at Manchester, Sherry Clayman. Did she die? I take it you don't like her. I can't stand her. She's actually very sweet, so I'm turning her into the school slut. Well, she's now your new best friend. Why? Ugh. Don't tell me you're hitting up the Claymans for a donation to Manchester. Sorry, Mother, I think it's an excellent idea. The Claymans will be joining us at 7. You invited them here? Mother, they're from California. Catherine, I need this. Just 20 million more and we can break ground on the Tiffany Mertoy Library. Well, you ladies seem to be enjoying yourselves. You must be tense, Sebastian. Yeah, well, you'd be too if you were failing gym. I mean, who ever heard of fencing as a sport? Perhaps a massage would help. Never had a massage before. You can have my table. I'm suddenly not in the mood. Talk to Mikesh. Mikket, not Mikesh. Catherine, if you're not going to say it correctly, don't say it at all. It just makes you look foolish. Thank you for the correction, Mother. Now, oh, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Come on, let's hear I think I could get used to this. Yeah. <laughs> Puppies, dead puppies, dead puppies, dead puppies, dead puppies, old nuns in their underwear. Mm. Oh. I thought you'd left. Is that Sonia or Ingrid? It's Tiffany. I hope you enjoyed your massage. I think I'll go take a shower. We've had so little time together, Sebastian. Can't be a happy family if we don't get to know each other a little better. You're right, Mom. We should talk more, Mom. With your father working on the yacht so much, I'll have plenty of time for you. You know, some nights he doesn't even come home. <laughs> he loves that yacht. I'm glad he found something oh. he's so committed to. <laughs> well, the right woman will do that. And you think uh, I'm the right woman? Definitely. He's a changed man. Of course he's changed. Without me, he'd still be in Miami giving charges to geriatrics. It's not the money, it's you. He loves you. You're a smart boy, Sebastian. You seem to understand your father very well. I hope so. So do I. Because if you're wrong, you're both going to end up out on the street. She spanked me. Dad, you hear? Fuck. 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 Hey, son. How's it going? Been already? Oh, it's just a cat nap. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just looking for the cat. Yeah, puss, 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 puss. Sebastian, I hope you're not suggesting I'm having an affair. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm your father, and I will not be treated like a criminal. Criminal. Oh. You could have fooled me. And behind door number three, we have... Hello? Sebastian, I'd like you to meet Lily. My first mate? Lily, I'm Sebastian, Edward's son. <laughs> oh my god, you have your father's eyes. Are you Libra? Let's just cut right to the chase, shall we? He offered to sail you around the world, didn't he? How did you know? Leave right now or you're grounded for a week. Did he tell you he was married? I was going to tell you I was waiting for the right time. You lied to me? More an error of omission. You see, she's very sick. I may be single any day now. Go to hell! Uh, Sebastian, you think you could help me out here? Okay, okay. 
I know we talked about this, but you're a man, and you have to understand. No, you have to understand. It's not just your life anymore, Dad. It's mine, too. Don't screw it up for me. Absolutely. You can count on me, son. The keys, please. You know, you made your bed. Now lie in it. Sebastian! Sebastian! Sebastian. Well, this sucks. I can't believe I was so stupid. I really thought your dad liked me. It's not your fault. He's the master of deceit. He should be in the Pathological Liars Hall of Fame. He was in the Hall of Fame? Never mind. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why are men such jerks? I mean, is it genetic or something? You know, they promise you the world that you're the one for them and that their wives don't understand them anymore. Fall for it every time. I'm like a doormat. They're always coming and going, and coming and going, and coming and... <sighs> My life sucks. Lily, you don't need a man to be happy. If you're not happy alone, you're not gonna be happy with someone else. You're a very attractive woman. You can have anyone you want. You just have to wait for the right guy to come along. You think I'm attractive? I think you're beautiful. You're so sincere. I'm not like your father at all. Okay. Glad you were paying attention. Do you want to come back to my place? I'd love to, but I have an oral report due in the morning. Oh, I'm great at orals. Yeah. Try me. No, thank you. Um, listen, I'm going to split. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Oh, Sebastian.